Be my shoulder. Well, Captain, what now? Mr. Sulu, make it so. Sounds logical to me. Aye, uh, Captain. Hi, this is Aran Z, and I want to welcome you to another edition of Aran's Secrets of Beauty. Today, we'll be talking about the hot pot. The good thing about the hot pot is you can use it with both the Pro Fusion and the French Fusion product. And you can miraculously change the color to any color that actually matches your client's hair. So now let's go to the salon to see what we'll have to use for the hot pot. All right, now let's talk a little bit about the products. And these are the products. As you know, that we have actually three different methods of doing hair extensions. We have two different hot hair glue gun adhesives. We have the Pro Fusion, and we also have the French Fusion. Now both of these are in the stick forms, and both of these sticks can go in either the Pro Fusion gun, or the hot pot. Now this is our hot pot junior. Now the good thing about our hot pot junior is you can use this all over the world. You can use this on 110 current or 220 current. The only thing you may have to do differently is get an adapter for the plug to fit the plug in your country. With the hot pot and the hot hair gun we use the adhesive sticks and as the adhesive sticks comes for the Pro Fusion in four different colors. It comes in black, dark brown, light brown, and blonde. The French Fusion comes in three colors. The French Fusion comes in clear, brown, and black. Now both of the sticks can be used in the gun by simply taking your gun and inserting the stick through the back and simply squeeze the trigger. Now, if you've used your stick and the stick is all the way down and you want to change colors or change the product, simply squirt the rest of the adhesive out and then take your wooden pusher, which is in your kit, and insert your wooden pusher through the back and kind of squeeze out the rest of the adhesive. This is how you clean your hot hair gun. And you may have to take a little rag and wipe off the nozzle. Now remember with our Pro Fusion gun, this never gets hot enough, our tip never gets hot enough to melt the hair. So you can have the our hot hair gun plugged in all day long and you don't have to worry about it getting so hot that it will burn the hair like you do have to do with some other company's guns or some coating irons. Now the difference is with our pot now you can use the same glue sticks in it. Now another good thing about the hot pot is you can change the color. So what we recommend you do if you're using Pro Fusion use the blonde to change the color and if you're using the French Fusion use the clear. So what we're going to do is take a little bit of our stick. Now what I like to do, I only like to use a little of the stick at a time. So what I do, I just take and I cut off a little of the stick and I put it into the pot. Then I take one of the colors. Now the colors comes in four different colors that goes with the hot pot. We've got black, blonde, red and brown. So now what we do, we just take a little bit of the color and we'll use a drop or two. One or two drops is all we need. And then we take a stick and we stir it up to change the color. Now this way 
you can get the color of the adhesive to be exactly the color that your client's hair is. You know how it was in the old system where you were locked in, if you only had black sticks, you could only use black hair, or if you only had blonde sticks, you could only use blonde. Or with this, you can take a blonde stick, actually, and color it black if you choose, or anything in between. Now, you can also color any of the other color of the sticks to change the hue just a little bit to match the client's hair. But remember, only use a very little bit, because if you use too much, it's going to not stick as well. So, with the, another thing we have to remember is with our products that you have to use the right remover with the right product. So you'd only want to use the Profusion remover with the Profusion sticks, and you only want to use the French Fusion remover with the French Fusion sticks. And as you can see, that they are color coded. So the blue remover removes the blue colored packet sticks and the red remover removes the red. Now one thing you don't want to do, you do not want to use the Profusion remover with the, Pro Fusion, with the French Fusion stick or the French Fusion remover with the French Fusion stick. It will not work. You must use the proper remover with the proper stick. Now, what is the difference in the stick? As you remember, the Profusion glue is the adhesive that we came out with first. This is the one that you fuse on with the hot hair gun and fuse off with the hot hair gun. The French Fusion adhesive is the one that we came out with a few years ago. It was originally called the LA Click Weave. This is the one that fuses on the same way with either the gun or the pot and it cracks off using the little nippers. Just, and then we'll just crack off the weave but not crack the hair. We'll demonstrate this a little later. So now as we remember, we have the Profusion and the French Fusion. Now a way to tell the difference yourself is that the Profusion has a little texture to it and it's very soft. And you'll see that it's got a little texture where the French Fusion is a shinier stick. It's got a little sheen to it. Notice the sheen to that stick? This is the French one, and it's more brittle than the other one, and it's more slicker. Now, the Pro Fusion melts on, melts off. The French Fusion melts on, cracks off. Okay? Very good. Now, let's go and do a demonstration on how this is used in the real world. Now, let's take a look at the tools we need. The first thing you're going to need is a different assortment of combs and brushes. A couple of the brushes I really like to use is a wide brush to brush the hair before and after the services and get yourself an inexpensive vent brush. Now this inexpensive vent brush is going to be the best thing you can buy to remove your tanglers. Remove your tangles that sometimes get in the hair. Now you can use your choice of rat tail combs but my favorite is a rat tail comb that has the metal tip on it because this tip makes it very easy to part the hair. Then you're going to need an assortment of clippies and yoyettes. You're going to need your sticks to stir your color into your fusion if you're using the hot pot and changing the color. And you're going to need shears. I recommend getting two shears. One shear would be your inexpensive shear to cut the weaved hair. And then you have one pair of shears that's your nicer shears to cut the hair and the finished styles. Now we also have in your kit the hair shield. Now this shield is put onto the hair so you're not going to be able to burn the client. But we'll show you this in the later on in our, in our demonstration. Next thing that we'll have to decide is what adhesive are you going to use. Are you going to use the Pro Fusion or the French Fusion? Or you can use the Hot Pot or the Profusion gun. Now in my salon, I use both the Profusion gun and the hot pot at the same time. The reason being is that the hot pot is much faster to use than the gun, but the gun is more accurate to use than the pot. And also, if you have the hair up into the scalp hair, you can also take the gun and remelt the wax. And you know, in the salon, like everywhere else, 
Time is money. So now what we're going to do at this point, we're going to go into the salon and we're going to show you how to actually do a hair, head of hair. Now we're not going to do an actual head of hair because you as a stylist knows how to do a head of hair, but we're going to show you the do's, the don'ts, the why, and the won'ts. So now let's get a mannequin head that we can practice with at home and in the salon. Okay, now if we're using our hot pot, what we must do, we must get our adhesive stick and normally what I would do is just take my cheaper shears and I would just cut off a very little bit of the adhesive and we put it right into the pot and let that melt. Normally it takes about two or three minutes for that to melt. Now we can also use our hot hair gun. If we're using our hot hair gun, we just simply take and we put our adhesive stick right into the back of the gun and it'll take about two or three minutes for that to melt. And then what we'll do, we will take our hair and we'll part it off. Then we'll take some of our client's scalp hair We will simply take the hair and we'll blunt cut the hair. And if we're using our glue gun, we just take and we squeeze a dot of the adhesive right onto the hair and we pick up a little of our hair and we pinch and twist. Or we dip it into the pot, put it to the hair and pinch and twist. Now, in your kit, as we told you before, we also use what we call the shield. Now, when we're using our shield, what we do, we take our comb and we get a pie section or a little cube. We take our shield, we open it, and we just simply slide the shield onto the hair. Open it, slide it down to the hair. Then we take our yo yet or our clippy and just clip it off. Now you see that we have the hair easy and we have it separated. Now with this makes it impossible for a client to burn the hair with a hot hair gun and the hair is in a free flowing motion. So at this point we simply take our little hair, we blunt cut the hair and this time we're going to use the glue gun. We just take the gun and we squeeze a dot right on the hair. We might take a little dot and we'll work it into the hair. Then we'll go up to our client's scalp hair, put it underneath, and we just simply pinch and twist. Pinch and twist. Roll it, roll it, roll it, pinch and twist. And that's our finish extension. You notice how nice and smooth and flat that is? Now, this time we use clear. And you see clear looks kind of white. Now when we're doing this, we always want to make sure we're holding it down in the direction the hair grows. We don't want to have any stray hairs in there. If we do, we're going to clip them off. So I'm using a different color hair and a different color wax just so you'd be able to see it. But in the real world, you want to be sure that you use the color of hair stick that would match the color of a client's scalp hair. So now we're going to take and we're going to do another one. So we just simply, all right. So we go in and we get a quarter inch of the hair out. Then we take our shield, we open the shield up, and we slide the shield down the hair shaft. Then we take our yoyet, and we just clip off the section. Now we get a little bit of our hair, and we simply blunt cut the hair. Take our hot hair gun, we squeeze out one dot of the adhesive, we go up to our scalp hair, we hold the bead of wax underneath and we hold the hair down in the direction it grows and we pinch and twist. Hold it down in the direction it grows and pinch and twist. Okay, let's do another one. Grab a little hair, take our shield, open the shield, slide the shield down the hair shaft. We clip off the hair. We grab a little of our commercial hair we take our shears, we blunt cut, take our glue gun, and we put a dot right in the center of the hair shaft. And if we have a little tail of adhesive, just kind of wrap it around. Now we go in, 
we hold the hair in the direction it grows over our dot and we roll. Pinch and twist. Simply pinch and twist. That's it. Now we'll try the hot pot. We're going to show you how to use the hot pot. Now the first thing we do, we grab a little of the hair. We take about a quarter inch of the hair. Then we take and we blunt cut the hair. With all methods we do, we always want to make a nice even blunt cut on the hair. Then we dip it into the pot. Dip it into the pot to where we have a little adhesive right on the tip. Then we go up to the scalp here. We do our little sectioning and we put it underneath and we pinch and twist. And we always want to make sure we hold the hair down in the direction it grows. This way the hair has movement so she can move her hair anyway. So we're going to do that again. Okay? We grab a little hair. We blunt cut. We dip the hair into the pot. Remember a little goes a long way. So we just need a little adhesive on there. We go up to the scalp here. We hold the hair in the direction that it grows. And we pinch and twist. And that's it. And it dries instantly. We're going to do it another time. We grab a little hair. We blunt cut. We dip it into the pot. Get a little hair adhesive on the end of our hair. We go up to the scalp. And you notice this time I'm not using the shield. It's an option whether you use it or not. And we pinch and twist. We put their hair to the scalp here. We'll do one more. Grab a little hair. We take and we blunt cut. We dip it into the pot. We go up to the scalp here, take a quarter inch pie shaping, put the adhesive underneath, and we pinch and twist. Pinch and twist. And that's how we have it. So, the next thing we'll talk about is hot hair removing. Now, we'll show you how to remove the fusions with the Pro Fusion remover. The first thing we're going to remove is a Pro Fusion and we're going to use a Pro Fusion remover. Now what we do with this, we simply take the tip of the Pro Fusion bottle and we go down to the hair and we put a dot of our Pro Fusion remover right on the wax. Next we take the tip of our hot hair gun and we simply melt the wax. We remelt the wax and we slide off the hair and then we take a fine tooth comb and comb out the residue. Let's do that again. We take our profusion remover, we put a dot of the profusion remover right on the dot of the wax. Then we take the tip of the gun, we simply remelt the wax and slide it off the hair. Again, take the profusion remover, put a dot right on the bead of the wax Take the tip of the hot hair gun, and you also could use a hot curling iron if you like. Remelt the wax, slide it off. At this time, you want to comb through the hair using a fine tooth comb, and when we get through with that, we want to go in there and shampoo the hair with the RANS clarifying shampoo to shampoo all the residue off. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove some of the hair with the French Fusion is the French Fusion using the French Fusion remover. So what we do to remove from the French Fusion is simply take our little product, open up the cap, and we put a dot of adhesive right on the wax. Then we take our poly snaps and we just crack the wax. Now this does not crack the hair. We just remove it, roll it around, and as you notice that the 
the wax is cracking and not the hair. Then we just slide it right off of the hair. Then we take a poly brush and we brush out the residue. Okay, we'll do that again. We just take our little remover, put a dot of the remover right on the wax. Then we pick, take our poly crack tool and we just crack the wax. This is not cutting the hair or breaking the hair because the hair is in the wax. All we're doing is breaking the wax. So we want to crack and roll, crack and roll. And then the, the commercial hair slides right off. We take a brush and we just simply brush out the residue. Brush out the residue. It looks like little dander flakes. But as you see, the hair is in perfect shape. With our wax, and you see where, where the hair is inside the wax, we can even bend that, and you see it doesn't break. So when they say fusion breaks the hair, you know they're lying. The only thing that will break it is that you are improperly. So we're gonna take this out. So you see how strong that's in there? You wouldn't dare pull your client's hair that, that high, hard, and you see it doesn't come off at all. But when we take it off properly, we just simply put a little bit of our profusion remover right on the weft, and we take our poly crack tool and we crack the adhesive. Simply crack the adhesive. We roll it and slide it right off. And then take our brush and we brush out the residue. Now you see how easy that comes out? And if you notice the hair is nice and clean. So when we remove it with the French Fusion, we remove it with the French Fusion Remover, and when we're using the Pro Fusion, we remove the Pro Fusion with the Pro Fusion Remover. The proper remover for the proper job. A little bit about the maintenance products, because one of the most important things you're going to do with hair extensions is send the client home with the proper maintenance products so that she can take care of her hair properly. Now, what I always use before I do any kind of service, I clean the client's scalp hair and the client's commercial hair with the Rand's Wonder Weave Shampoo. Now, one of the things we didn't talk about was our bonding system. As you may or may not know, Rand's Wonder Weave was the very first complete line of hair bonding products. Then we came out with the Fast Track, and then we came to what is now the best bonder in the world. It's the oil-free Art Nouveau. Now the Art Nouveau Bonder comes in three different sizes. It comes small, medium, and large. The small bottle is a half an ounce, and the small half ounce bottle comes in dark and clear. The next size we have is the one ounce bottle, and the one ounce bottle of Art Nouveau comes in dark and clear. Then we have the two ounce bottle, and that also comes in dark and clear. So basically with the bonding lotion, as you well know, you just take the wefted hair and you apply the bonder to the wefted hair, apply the bonder to the scalp hair, hold the two together for about 60 seconds and take a blow dryer for about a minute and dry it. We start from the nape and we work up. Now in other videos, we will show you how to lay patterns in, but in the meantime, we're gonna show you about our other products. All right, the first product we're gonna talk about is our detangling spray. What the detangler does, it takes the detangles out of any kind of hair. You'll spray this onto the hair shaft and you take a vent brush and you start brushing the hair, starting from the point end of the hair and brush up toward the scalp to get the tangles out. We'll show you a short demonstration. The next product in our line is our foaming hair spritz. Now with this, hair weaving forming spritz does, it may, it's like a hairspray. The difference between our spritz and most of the spritz you get at the grocery store is that most of the hairsprays and spritzes that you get in the grocery store is made out of lacquer. Lacquer is kind of like the stuff that you have on your paneling and it's hard to shampoo out of the hair. And so as you're shampooing very hard to get that out of the hair, sometimes you're messing the hair up. So our forming spritz has a firm hold, but yet and still, it will brush and shampoo out of the hair easily. Now the next product, and probably the most important one, is our clarifying shampoo. Now I use our oil-free clarifying shampoo for every weave and extension that I do. I shampoo the hair thoroughly two or three times to make sure the hair is squeaky clean. 
whether I'm doing the bonding or the fusion, the French fusion or the pro fusion, because the cleaner the hair is, the better it is. Because with our bonders and with our fusions, the hair must be 100% clean and 100% dry. Because if there's anything that's on it, it will not stick. Because our bonders do not stick to the hair shaft, it sticks, it doesn't penetrate the hair shaft, it just sticks to the shaft. So you want to make sure the hair is clean and dry. The next thing in our line is our balsam and protein conditioner. The reason why we need balsam and protein is because the balsam conditioners by themselves that you just get at the regular market is a coating agent on it and it doesn't penetrate. You want to have that hair coated and penetrated. Now before you do the hair extensions, you do not want to use the conditioner. You want to first just shampoo it. Now when the client comes back in for their weekly maintenances, then you would use the shampoo and the conditioner. Or if the client is at a home doing her hair at home, you want to make sure she has the conditioner and the shampoo to take home with her. So first you'd always shampoo her hair with the Clarify shampoo and then follow it up with the protein balsam conditioner. So these are the items that are in our line of Aran's Wonder Weave. And we thank you very much for joining us in this video, and we hope you join us again for another edition of Aran's Secrets of Beauty. In our next video, we will have a net weaving too. Like the net weaving we did several years ago that a lot of people copied on that one, well, we got a brand new method of net weaving. So you can ask the distributor that sold you this video and these products when we will have our next Aran's Secret of Beauty. Ta-ta.